Hello, VConnor711 here, trying to make a return to doing videos. Um, I know it's been a while. Um, things are going better. Um, I'm on the road to recovery from all my grief, and uh, it's never going to be easy. But I wanted to share a thrift haul with you guys. Um, if you watch Karen, K is for Karen, then you know that uh, me and her uh, met up in Houston to visit with Amy from Amy's Got a Glue Gun. And uh, we went thrifting <laughs> a lot. So, sorry, my kitty cat's in here. So, um, yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, I'll also, <sighs> not too long before I went to Houston, lost my dog. Um, she was very sick and, and, um, passed away with cancer. So, had to go through that. So, right before I left, uh, about a couple of weeks before I left, I got, I, know, I adopted a four-year-old cat who is become the king of the house. So, anyway, let's get on with this thrift haul. First of all, if this is the first time that you've seen me, welcome. Um... I'm so glad to have you stopping by. And if you are old viewers, not old viewers, that sounds terrible. Um, if you have been with me for a while, then you notice that I'm in a change of location. Uh, my craft room is under renovation right now. And so I am in my guest room, uh, which is good because this is where I kind of unloaded everything. Uh, yeah. So let's get started. I'm just rambling. I'm so glad to be back, y'all. Okay, for, oh my gosh, gotta get my glasses. Y'all know I can't see without my glasses. Okay, uh, the first thing I bought was this Best of Beta Sigma Phi cookbook, uh, recipes, crafts, decorations. I love old, oh my gosh, I'm not even holding it up where y'all can see it. I love old cookbooks like this. And I'm sorry for the glare. I know the lighting is horrible. Um, and I'm going to try to work on that because I'll probably be shooting in here for a couple of more videos. But anyway, I just love old cookbooks. I really do. And I was going to try to see if there was a copyright. This is not too, too old. Um, 1991. So, but it looks like it's got some really good recipes in it. And I'm hoping that this chocolate pie on there is like the old-fashioned chocolate pie that used, used to be made. That was so good, so rich. <coughs> okay, this, <coughs> excuse me, my goodness, um, <coughs> this part of the thrift haul is like, um, kitchen wares and a couple of decorative ideas or items, uh, so, and y'all know I do not edit my videos, so I apologize for all my flub ups, <laughs> uh, and yeah, just a, an office item here. I picked this up for a dollar. And it's one of the nice wide ones. And look at the shadow on that. That's oh, that's cool. Anyway, <laughs> the um it's not it's about seven inches. Yeah, it's about seven inches wide. Uh and I have the paper ones or the cardboard ones um that I use to put my card making books and craft books and stuff like that in. But when I saw this, I was like, it's nice and sturdy. I'm like, I'm gonna get that, that way I can consolidate. So, yeah, got that. Uh, let me see, I'm trying to get to the, I'm trying to do the, the like, crafty style thing first. Okay, I, I, and to be honest with you, we thrifted so much when we were in Houston that I do not remember where I got what. So, I really can't tell you. I know this is a green tag, it says $6.99, so it could have been uh, Goodwill. But anyway, y'all know I love peacocks, and this needs to be redone. Uh, and it is a shadow box, and it opens up. Um, so, I'm going to, I have my own peacock feathers um, and stuff like that. So, I'm actually, ooh, hello. I'm actually going to use some of my own peacock feathers, and I'm going to use some of the stuff that, uh, people have sent me like patches and stuff like that in here. So, and maybe some pearls. But I love the color. This is the color of my um, color scheme now. So, yeah. 
I just love it. It's a beautiful shadow box. And it does open up. So, got that. It was a little more than I wanted to pay. But, you know, when you really, really want something, you kind of fork it out, don't you? <laughs> okay, so I'm always on the hunt for good picture frames. And my color scheme now is, um, in my living room is, and my bedroom is uh, silver and white and teal in my living room, dining, kitchen area. Um, so, found two beautiful, and I'm talking in great shape. Uh, these are called Silver Lifestyles. I found two of them. Um, picture frames. I mean, and they're gorgeous. They are, there's nothing wrong with them. They're not chipped or beat up or anything. And I paid $1.99 each for them. And you know you cannot find good picture frames. And like I say, and they're 11 by 14. And I did pick up two. So, yeah, got those. So, I was really excited over those. I, I'm sorry I keep getting out of frame here. I'm putting stuff over as I'm talking about it. But, yeah, I mean, you, there's no way you can pick up frames. You know, they, those would have cost like $14.99 to $18.99. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> on. We move. Um, found this Tupperware container. Now, the, I'm, I'm sure y'all remember these. I already have one, but this was, if I can get it open, this was never used. I, it is in brand new condition. No smell to it, nothing. And used to, well, before the fire, I had, I had two. Um, and luckily, one of them was packed in the storage unit. Um, but I lost one. So what I usually like to do, um, which I'm trying to get back into because I'm trying to get healthy again, um, I like to keep one filled with fruits and uh, a locale fruit dip and then the other one filled with vegetables with a locale veg veggie dip. So I just slide them right in the refrigerator. When I want a snack, pull them out and there you go. All the prep work's done and I'm good to go. Okay, found this, um, paid $3.99 for it, uh, Pampers Chef Easy Accent Decorator, and y'all know these aren't cheap, brand new, still in the box, never been used, everything is in there, as a matter of fact, the pieces are still connected, so I was excited about that, um, yeah, I do like to do a lot of baking and decorating, and you know, when I'm having good days, I like to do stuff like that for my kids. Um, just recently did, well, before I went to Texas, uh, recently did um, uh, baked goods for a play that my, uh, at the theater where my son does his stuff, his plays. So, um, I got a chance to make whoopie pies and cookies and brownies and, um, what else did I make? Oh, cinnamon sugar crescent rolls, yeah. So, yeah, so I love to do stuff like that, and if I get a chance to do it, you know, I like to have something to do it with. Uh, speaking of that, let's reach over here and get this. This is a big one. This is, what is this? This is, this is not Tupperware, this is Wilton, yes. And, uh, I mean, the sticker is still on this thing, right? It's like it's never been used. And it is a 24 cupcake holder. Uh, and the cupcake holder comes out. And like I said, this is made by Wilton. The cupcake holder comes out. Let's see. Try not to knock stuff over. And um, then you've got the big muffin holder on that side. And you can also use it as a cake carrier. So this was a nice piece. And I was really excited to get it, especially for the price that I got it for, ooh, which was $3.99. So, yes, $3.99. So I was really super stoked to get that. And it's a good size piece, um, obviously to hold 24 cupcakes. <laughs> so, yes, excited about that. Uh, I'm continuing with the kitchen stuff. 
Um, <coughs> I don't know if there's, there's not any kind of markings on these. Anyway, these are just little measuring cup bowls, you know, that, um, I can't think what you call them. Um, chefs use them all the time for their, you know, spices and stuff. Anyway, I used to have some. Now I have some more. Again, it's a set of four. It's, um, I don't even know if they have, like, It, they're anchor hocking. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm excited to have those again. Um, picked up some, you know, because I'm, I'm cooking for one now. So, found a couple of pieces of corningware. Got dust in it. I had not cleaned up and washed this stuff yet, so... Anyway, I found this little, this is the little midget thing. Um, you know, it's perfect just to throw something in and pop it in the microwave. So I got that one. And then I got two of the little, uh, what are these? These are the two and three quarter cup size. And so I got those, um, I paid, well, I probably got these at two different Goodwills because one says two ninety eight and the other one says three twenty eight. So, <laughs> and this one was two ninety eight. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, so um, yeah, so I got those, uh, and they're you know they're the perfect size for me. Hope I don't break them. Uh, let's see, what else did I get? This is a, a Teleflora gift. Teleflora base from 1998. Now, y'all know my thing is just B, right? Um, this That has carried me through a lot of years dealing with my mom with the Alzheimer's and my husband with all his sicknesses and everything. And just B. Just, you know, there's some things you just can't change. And if you worry about it, you're going to stress yourself out too much. You're going to get sick yourself. So, anyway... But I found this cute little vase, and it is, <laughs> it's got bees all over it, and they're, they're busy bees. There's, let's see, that one there is uh, delivering mail. This one's working at the computer. Uh, this one is, looks like it's delivering files, maybe in a, in a, this one is writing a note. Anyway, they're just so cute. This one's talking on the cell phone. <laughs> um, but it was just so cute. And I was like, you know what? I cannot pass that up. So I'm going to sit it in my um, craft room when I get it re reorganized and, and painted and everything. Uh, but I just thought it was so cute. And I'm like, yeah, okay. They're just being. They're doing what they got to do. They're busy bees, but they're still just being. <laughs> so anyway, I fell in love with that. Um, I have a friend, hey Wendy, if you're watching, that is collecting the um, cobalt, cobalt blue stuff. And so I just happened to find this, these two items for her. Um, this, it looks like, a, the glare is horrible. It looks like a little drum, just a candle holder, vault, uh, votive. Um, and it looks like a little drum and it's just so pretty. And I think she's going to like that. And then I found this little, um, I guess it's a votive also, but it's in a triangle shape. It's so beautiful. And it's got the clear base at the bottom and it's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So those are for her. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I love big glass mixing bowls. I love them even more if they're the measuring cup kind. This is Anchor Hocking. Gosh, I hate when they do that. <laughs> yes, Anchor Hocking. I'm trying to read it upside down. No, it's backwards. It's imprinted on there backwards. I'm not kidding you. Anyway, microwave safe. Um, it is two liters. Eight cups, two quarts. Anyway, it's a glass measuring cup 
mixing bowl. These are fantastic to have. And it looks like it's been used quite a bit as a mixing bowl. There is no cracks, it's not damaged in any way. It's just got some, you know, beater marks, which I'm perfectly fine with. That means it has been loved and used. So I'm excited over that. Uh, okay, I picked up this beautiful basket. Um, I just, I absolutely love it. I paid um, $2.57 for it. It doesn't have, it says it was made in the Philippines. It is sturdy as all get out. It's not really big. It's about, you know, about 12 inches with the handles. It is in pristine condition. And I just absolutely love it. It's got the wooden beads here. It's just beautiful. Just beautiful. So, Excited over that. <coughs> Last thing I will show you before the piece I'm most proud of um, is I've got, me and my kids have decided because we always did love the holidays, my husband especially loved the holidays, that we're gonna go out, all out for the holidays now. Last year, we didn't, it was, it was really rough. Paid $4.99 for this metal, gorgeous pumpkin. Look at this with the vine up here. Oh my gosh. It is, oops, I'm getting some tangled up. It is just beautiful and it's a good size. It's, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a little more than two hands worth. <laughs> but it is beautiful. The colors on it are so rich and vibrant. So, got that. Love, love, love it. Um, okay. Let me reach over here real quick. Okay. You see this right here? This is a cookbook stand, right? Um, the black wrought iron look. It's got the, I didn't even show you. It's got the weighted balls on it to hold the pages down. So, got that. Love it. And then, we were in, I cannot remember where we were in, where we were at when I got this, but, um, Pick this up. I think it was in a Goodwill. Betty Crocker's Picture Cookbook. It is in pristine condition. The only thing that it had was like, it had gotten wet right here a little bit. But this is, the copyright on this is 1950. And it says, we're excited to bring you this treasured first edition of Betty Crocker's Cookbook. The recipes are exactly as they appear in the original cookbook. So I know that even though this was done in 1950, it's still a reproduction of the first cookbook. But the pictures in here are fabulous. I mean, just fabulous. Uh, they, I mean, look at the spread. <laughs> that is something that you would see from entertaining. And when I first started looking through it, I was like, oh my gosh, it takes me right back to home ec. Yes, I had home ec in seventh grade. And, um, Let's see, I was gonna try to find, maybe it's at the very front, but I saw the one I was talking about. Um, I mean, it teaches you all about the cake pans, the sizes, just, it's just so cool. <laughs> I know I'm a little fruit cakey when it comes to stuff like this, but look at this, it gives you how-to directions in picture form, as well as words, but picture form. and. So I'm just, I'm just in love with it, and I paid two ninety nine for it, and I was like, yes, please. So that's all I'm going to share in this video. I do have several more videos coming up, uh, some more thrift stores, um, a King Dollar, and um, um, Dollar Tree. <laughs> trying to think there for a minute. Completely went out of my head. So yes. So, I am glad to be back. I love you guys so much and miss you. I have missed you terribly over the last year and year and a half almost. Um, and, uh, yes, glad to be back. So, with that being said, I love you and please, please be kind to each other. Love on each other. And... I will catch you in the next video. So bye from North Carolina.